start. Dear students, today I want to talk to you about our MTech Aerospace Engineering program. As you may be all be well aware, aerospace engineering is becoming one of the most prominent professions in the world. As you can see, on the aeronautics part of aerospace engineering, we see a growth in aviation much, much more than the pre-COVID levels. That means there are more airlines coming up, more pilots, more engineers are being hired all across the world. If we look at the space side of things, we see how space tourism is booming and how space technology is becoming very prominent in almost every country in the world. Today, we live in a year where going to space for civilians have become a reality. Hence, if you want to become a professional aerospace engineer, our MTech Aerospace Program may be the right program for you. If you have had your studies in undergraduate level in aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, electronical engineering, or civil engineering, you may be eligible to apply for MTech Aerospace Engineering Program. Our program consists of one year of theoretical study and one year of practical study with experiential learning. On the theoretical study, you will be given courses to help you understand the basic tenets and principles of aerospace engineering. Then, we ask you to choose one of the three specializations that are available to you. The first area of specialization is aeronautics and UAV. In aeronautics and UAV, it's about the, analyzing the atmospheric flight of every vehicle, such as airplanes, helicopters, weather ships, balloons, and any other aircraft. The second area of specialization is space technology. Space technology deals with rockets, missiles, satellites, space systems, and space exploration missions. The third area of specialization that you can choose is CFT or computational fluid mechanics. Computational fluid mechanics deals with the analysis of flows and how those flows interact with their environment. This can be on a variety of things, such as aeronautics, automotive design, especially when you're designing the aerodynamic exterior of the vehicle. It can be in mechanical engineering, where you are analyzing the design of a flow inside a pipe or a pump or any other uh, operational structure. So once you have chosen your area of specialization, either from aeronautics, space technology, or CFT, then the courses that you take as electives will be only on your area of specialization. Now, when you finish your first year successfully, in the second year, you have to do a full year of internship abroad. This can be at any of our partner universities abroad. It can be at some of the research organizations that we have partnered with. It can be with research labs or it can be with companies abroad. This way, we want you to get the experiential learning necessary to become a good aerospace engineer because real engineering is not just about learning theory but real engineering is also learning about the practical knowledge the experiential knowledge that makes a good engineer someone who can actually create something once you have finished your internship you have to submit your master thesis and you have to defend in front of a jury to prove to us that yes you have learned all the fundamental principles of aerospace engineering and we can then give you the degree of MTech Aerospace Engineering. It's a challenging road and it's not for everybody. If you're a studious person, if you like creativity and if you like to tinker with things, then MTech Aerospace Engineering program may be right for you. If you're interested, please do apply or if you wish to get some more information about whether this program is a good fit for your future career, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.